How good a footballer was Lionel Messi when he was eight? If you were watching him back then, would you have known straight away he was destined for greatness? The search to find the next footballing superstar has led to a host of top flight clubs vying to sign up an eight-year-old from Argentina whose dribbling skills, tackles and pullbacks have been watched on social media by people around the world. How can the sporting skills shown by a primary school child be any measure of what sort of a footballer he'll be like as an adult? Matthew Side, whose table tennis talents weren't identified until the advanced age of 12, has more. This is Claudio Gabriel Nanchafil. He's from Argentina and is eight years old. Top clubs around the world are fighting to sign him. And who can blame them? Prodigies have mesmerized the world for centuries. The idea of young children zapped with genius from birth. These kids at the Westway Sports Club in London are hoping to be the next big thing in football. But does preordained genius really exist? And why do so many so-called prodigies burn out? Ed Smith is a former England international cricketer. Expectation often works against the most important thing in sport, which is enjoyment and joyfulness. I think kids who, who mature very early in terms of expressing their talent often then don't develop the psychological um, robustness to enable them to actually have that great career that uh, perhaps they, were, they seem predestined for. And that's why there is evidence, I think, that the late run can be preferable. I think in my own cricket career, I saw lots of people who were earmarked for greatness get gradually overtaken by people who were mentally better equipped for life at the top. Elias! Well done, PJ Keenable. No, where are you? These kids are aiming high and their coaches are hoping to produce the next sensation. Boys, don't worry! Heads up! Come on! Of course, some super talents like Lionel Messi, who was signed by Barcelona at the age of 13, and Tiger Woods were standing out early. <laughs> Others, like Gary Neville, flourished rather later. Development seems to have a range of different trajectories. Kevin Peterson, who plays his 100th test this week for England. Well, age 17 or 18, he was a, a, an off-spinner who batted number 10, who was struggling to get into a provincial side in South Africa. There was nothing in Kevin Peterson's childhood that suggested he was going to become one of the great batsmen of the modern era. But in actual fact, it was his ability to make up his own mind, his ability to be self-taught, his ability not to have a track record of people having tinkered with him too much that enabled him, when he did, if you like, get seized by ambition, to actually be in an optimal position to make the most of it. Scouting operations have become increasingly sophisticated. Premier League clubs are scrutinising players, deploying data analysis and psychometrics on children as young as 10. The pressure is ratcheting up on players and parents. You can have a, a 10, 11, 12 year old child who, who suddenly um, has up to that period has just had their parents to guide them but all of a sudden you've got you know agents involved you've got coaches you've got uh, uh, nutritionists and and uh, um, physiologists or, or whatever all have an interest in in that child and it, it it changes the whole dynamic so it goes from being something that is fun and enjoyable and and something to kind of you know do with your friends to being a full-time profession. The temptation, all too often, is to push too hard. But the danger is if the young footballer or violinist is practicing not for its own sake, but to please a parent or coach, they're far more likely to burn out. The key in psychological terms is for the young performer, the aspiring champion, to care about what they're doing from the inside. Even for the super talented, Excellence is a long journey. Resilience is probably more important than early promise. But if prodigies retain their joy, and with a bit of good fortune, anything is possible. Matthew Said.